this is amazing because of course this is our laboratory. This year I'll be the head of the Ecolease organization, uh, which is the secret agency where uh, we take these grade fives to train. They go in, bust into the classroom, and, and they transform the room into a spaceship. We have now environmental youth sustainability leadership teams in nine high schools in this province that's won a, a provincial award. The environmental and sustainability studies program is really core to helping Acadia realize that idea of becoming a living model of sustainability. Currently, the world faces issues relating to poverty, relating to health, relating to the environment, you name it, but there's not one discipline that's going to provide answers to these complex problems. Mysterious Encounters um, takes place almost entirely outdoors. Uh, it's a full day program in the woods, um, on the trails, and it, it really changes how you're looking at things. When you're discussing matters of, you know, saving the, the earth and energy, it, it really hits home because it's all right there around you. MindShift is, is a program for high school students where a team of high school students teach other students in that school about sustainability. They learn about our ship and the trouble that it's in. And then there's a bunch of skits that, uh, that demonstrate ways that young people can make a difference. And if you think about it, 20 years from now, in order for us to live on a healthy planet, our lives are going to look entirely different than they do right now. We're going to get around differently, we're going to live differently. And, and we need to figure out how we're going to do that. And, and young people need to be involved in that. The Environment and Sustainability Studies program came about in a, in a unique way. It really was a group of dedicated faculty from across campus, from, from a variety of different disciplines who came together um, who really wanted to focus on sustainability from an interdisciplinary perspective. Well, when I was doing both the environmental and business focus, I realized that you know, I really wanted to find a position that would allow me to explore the space in between business and the environment. I found a think tank and consultancy in the States called uh, the Rocky Mountain Institute. I was able to combine and contrast you know, those two disciplines and bring it to the table during my interview um, for a position as a, a research fellow in the mobility and vehicle efficiency team. A lot of people say, oh, young people are going to be the leaders for tomorrow. I don't think so. I think that young people are the leaders now and this is the opportunity for this program uh, for them to get involved in leading and changing things now. We've got a variety of great projects that the students get engaged in. The Eco Olympics, that's the competition between dorms. We also have an environmental house. Students have pulled together the Acadia Farm Garden. We also have a ride share program that was designed by students. There's also a free store on campus. Really, it's limitless what students can engage in. We did conferences for high schoolers, we did climate change coffee houses, we planned the Dump and Run, which is a huge yard sale to divert stuff from going to the landfill. Here I am only in my second year, and I'm running this program and uh, doing a fourth year credit uh, in a leadership uh, program. I think Acadia is providing something that no one else definitely in Canada provides. I think if you have on your degree this focus in environment and sustainability, you know, employers are going to look twice at you. I know that through my experience as a young person, getting involved in lots of things was really empowering for me. And having the chance to take real action um, felt really good and I felt like I was making a difference.